Hey guys, Matt Hoots here with Sawhorse. And as a green builder, one of the things that I've learned from these different green building programs, Lead for Homes, Earthcraft, Passive House, is the importance of where you put your cars. Now I'm in a garage right now. We did this a garage edition on a house. The challenge is, is there's two different types of garages. One is a good garage, one's a bad garage. If you have a bad garage, it's okay. We have a fix for you to make it better. All right, so the two major types of garages are gonna have, one is an attached garage. An attached garage is where that, the garage meets the house, and if you get out of your car, you can walk directly into the house. The second kind of garage is a detached garage. Now, the main, I guess the, the pros and cons of each of them, a detached garage, you may have to walk through the rain, or if you're lucky enough, you have some sort of catwalk where you can walk underneath some sort of breezeway to get into the house. So the pros of an attached garage is you can walk directly into the house. The challenge though is if you're parking your car in that attached garage, all those fumes, if you have a petrol or a gas powered vehicle, you're going to have all this off gassing. The off gassing can get into your house if you don't have proper ventilation. So let's talk about how you can get some of the nasty air out of your attached garage and keep it from getting inside your house. So the first thing that we did on this edition, and though this is an addition, it's an attached garage. Uh, we did this on this our client's house. And I said, if we're gonna do this, the only way we're gonna do this is we're going to put a ventilation fan in here. So we've got this ventilation fan, but what I've noticed about fans and ventilation, they only work if there's some sort of motion sensor on it, some sort of occupancy sensor, or some sort of VOC sensor. All right, so instead of putting a switch on the wall to ventilate out, we've got this motion sensor. Now what's nice about this motion sensor, when the car pulls into the garage, this kicks on, there's also a timer on it, so you can set the device to run a certain period of time after the motion sensor kicks on. And in this case, I believe we have it removed. 10 minutes. Now, I also use the same motion sensor in our bathroom. You probably saw the video with Daniel. He was smelling it up. So we have the motion sensor set for 15 minutes. Now, what this motion sensor is going to do, as soon as the car pulls into the garage, the fan's going to kick on. You can hear the fan in the background because we set up the motion sensor. And it'll keep on running, exhaust all the bad air out of the garage. That way it doesn't get into the house, keep any cracks and crevices in the sheared wall between the garage and the main part of the house. So if you guys have an attached garage, you need to make sure that you have some sort of fan with a motion sensor. It's gonna help get all the chemicals out of the air, all the off gassing that's coming from anything that's storing in the garage, paints, solvents, and also your vehicle. So this is very important for your safety, for your family's safety, and to maintain good indoor air quality inside your house. Thanks again for joining us on this journey as we continue to explore better building products and practices to help you have a more durable, healthy, safe, comfortable, and energy efficient home. For your convenience, we've uploaded other videos just like this. If you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it if you hit the like button and also hit subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any other questions about this topic.